Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given quartic uh, equation. And our equation is uh, x power 4 minus 4 x power 3 minus x square plus 20 times x minus 20 equals to 0. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see our highest degree is 4. So therefore we are going to have at most 4 solutions to this given polynomial. And bear in mind that these solutions could be distinct or they could be repeating as well. And now we are going to apply the special technique to solve this given problem. We are going to focus on these uh, even uh, power terms uh, first. In other words, we are talking about uh, these three terms. And these are our odd power terms as well. So therefore, I'm going to match uh, these odd powers. So therefore, I'm going to write down uh, the even powers uh, terms first. x power 4 minus uh, x square minus uh, 20. And then I'm going to write down uh, the odd powers, negative 4 uh, x power 3 plus uh, 20x is going to be equal to 0. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to tweak this uh, middle term, negative x square. So therefore, we can tweak this negative x square as uh, negative uh, 5x uh, square plus 4x uh, uh, square. And we can see negative 5 times positive 4 indeed gives us uh, negative 20. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We are going to focus these first two terms. We can see x square is in common. For uh, these uh, next two terms uh, we could see positive 4 is in common. And last uh, two terms we can see negative 4x is in common. So therefore, we are going to focus on these first two terms. I'm going to factor out uh, x square. So we got uh, x square minus uh, 5. And now we are going to focus on these next two terms. We are going to factor out positive 4. We ended up with the x square minus 5. And finally, with last uh, two terms, uh, I'm going to factor out uh, negative 4x outside. So we ended up with the x square minus 5 equals to 0. And now let's make an observation. We can see x square minus 5, x square minus 5 and x square minus 5 they are common across the board. So therefore I'm going to factor out uh, x square minus 5 and uh, we are ended up with uh, x square plus 4 minus 4x. So I'm going to write down uh, x square plus 4 minus 4x uh, uh, is going to be equal to 0. And now let's focus on this famous identity. a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. And we are going to apply this identity on uh, this uh, expression. So therefore, first of all, I'm going to write down uh, x square minus 5. And then uh, this whole uh, thing uh, could be written as uh, x minus 2 whole square is going to be equal to 0. And now we can see we got these two factors uh, equal to 0. So therefore we are going to separate them. I'm going to write down x square minus uh, 5 uh, equal to 0 and the other factor x uh, minus 2 whole square equal to 0. And now for this uh, first equation, I'm going to move this uh, negative 5 uh, on the other side. So therefore, we could write uh, x square equals to positive 5. I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our uh, x value for this first equation is going to be equal to positive or negative square root of uh, 5. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other equation, x minus 2 whole square equal to 0. And I could write uh, this one as uh, x minus 2 and then x minus 2 once again equal to 0. In other words, I can write down x minus 2 
equal to 0 and the other x minus 2 equal to 0. So therefore our this equation is going to be equal to x equal to 2 and likewise over here for this equation x is going to be 2 once again. And now we can see that this uh, x equals to 2 and this x equal to 2 they are repeating solutions. So therefore we could simply write down uh, our solution uh, x equal to 2 with the multiplicity m u l t i multiplicity 2. So thus our solution set turns out to be x equal to square root of 5 x equal to negative square root of 5 and x equals to 2 with a multiplicity 2. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.